When you want a perfect medium rare steak, you get out your digital thermometer and you nail 125 degrees right in the center. And yet, when it comes to cooking fish, you skip the thermometer altogether. And that's really too bad, because precision is even more important when you're cooking fish. Even fatty fish, like salmon, can go from tender and moist to chalky and dry in a flash. In the test kitchen, we've always preferred to cook salmon to 125 degrees for that ideal balance of firm yet silky flesh. But the majority of salmon we cook is farmed. We noticed that when we cook some wild species to that temp, we found them to be really dry. So we decided to take a closer look. To find out what was going on, we tested fillets of the four most common wild species of salmon, along with farm salmon. We cooked samples of each to both 120 degrees and 125 degrees. And then we asked tasters, who didn't know what we were doing with the test, to pick which sample had the best texture. Every single taster, like the wild cooked to 120 and the farm salmon at 125. Now these results might sound surprising. After all, salmon is salmon, right? Well, not exactly. Farm salmon live a relatively sedentary life. You can think of them as the couch potato of the ocean. Whereas wild salmon are active hunters and they swim upstream to spawn. And those lifestyle differences make a real difference on the plate. It turns out that farm salmon differs in two important ways from the wild varieties. For one, the collagen protein in farm salmon contains fewer chemical crosslinks. Less crosslinks means weaker collagen and softer flesh. And second, farm salmon contains more fat than any wild variety, and up to four times as much fat as the leanest species. And we all know that fat makes food taste juicy. So with naturally firmer flesh and less fat to provide lubrication, wild salmon can have the texture of overcooked fish even at 125 degrees. By cooking wild salmon to just 120, the muscle fibers contract less and they stay moist and tender. For perfect salmon every time, cooked farm salmon to 125 degrees and cooked wild to just 120. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later. <laughs>